What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron and in this video, I'm gonna show you how much money I made in YouTube on my first month being monetized, which was in February. So it just ended. After many months of putting in hard work on YouTube, I started my channel in May. I finally got monetized in February. So I'm gonna show you all the details of my YouTube channel, all the analytics, because it's one of my favorite videos going into YouTube and seeing how other creators are actually building their channel and growing their audience and I think it's pretty inspiring as well if you want to start a side hustle and earn some money on the side and maybe even have this turn into a full-time career maybe this can be inspiring or give you an idea um, of what's actually possible on YouTube if you put in the work and grind through the long days because it's gonna take some time until you're monetized but if you put in the work you will eventually get monetized now this is just the start from my channel it was just the first month of me being monetized but I hope that I can 10 exit, and I think I can within the next maybe five to 10 months. And at that point, it might even become a full-time income and a full-time career. That's my goal. So now let's dive into my YouTube analytics so you can see exactly how my channel has grown. All right, guys, so now we're looking at my YouTube analytics, and I'm gonna start from 365 days. So basically from the beginning of my channel, like I said, it started in May, so we're not even a full year in. And if we look at this graph right here, we can see how slow the growth is at first. So far, I've gotten about 101,000 views um, total over the entire, entire time since I've had my YouTube channel, which I, I'm proud of so far. It's definitely a good start. Um, but the growth at the beginning is just so slow. We can see that it basically just looks like a flat line until about December of last year when things actually started to pick up. I mean, at the beginning you're getting like, what, maybe 10, 20, 30 views a day, and then it ramps up to maybe 100 in, uh, a few months later. In July, I got around about 32 views, 45 views. It's still pretty slow though until what do we hit until still under 100 still under 100 then okay so about august that's when i first started i guess getting over 100 views and then if we look at subscriber growth as well it's still it's absolutely tiny at the beginning i mean one subscriber two subscribers i was getting under 10 subscribers basically all the way until what was it until basically December of 2020 is when I started getting over 10 subscribers a day. So it's excruciatingly slow at first. And I think it's really important knowing that going in. Starting a YouTube channel is like starting any other business or investing. It's very small at the beginning, but it's it's compounded over time. You have to know, you have to recognize that a growth curve does not look like this. A growth curve looks like this. And this is for investing in the stock market as well. When you start out, you're investing maybe a few hundred dollars here and there, a few thousand dollars here and there, and your returns are pretty minimal. But what happens is those returns keep building on each other and your growth compounds over time. So that's exactly what I'm starting to see, just starting to see in my YouTube channel now. Also, the fact that my videos are now getting a lot better, where at the beginning, go back and watch my first videos, um, they'll hopefully make you laugh. But it's pretty interesting to see the difference in video quality as well, which has definitely helped my channel grow. So now the moment that we've all been waiting for, how much I made in February, my first month being monetized, was $589. And that's pretty cool, because my channel is still a baby channel. It's absolutely tiny. So for the ability for my channel to make $589 in the first month is pretty crazy. All that means is I have to 10 exit from here and it becomes a full-time salary, which is pretty interesting. Within maybe a year, year and a half, you can build your own business and not have a boss and you can do this anywhere in the world. So that's pretty inspiring. And I hope you take something away with that and, and know that it, it is possible to build an actual income off YouTube within maybe a year, year and a half. Now I'm not there yet, but maybe within a few more months, maybe six more months, I'll actually be able to build a full-time income off that. So at the beginning here, let's just go into February. So the first day that I was actually monetized, I made $9.24. And then it quickly ramped up from there and I'm averaging now anywhere between about 22 
and $25. So we can see I've been around 22, 22, well, 17, 18. And then I posted a few videos on Dogecoin and those did pretty well. And I made $26 one day and then 38. And then the highest was $70 in a day. And then it dropped back down when the views came down from that video. So it was kind of a spike um, for views and, and income, but that's pretty cool to see if you post a video and it does really well, it takes off, you can instantly just boost your income. So to give you some context of actually how many views you need to generate income off of YouTube, so to reach to meet the threshold, you need to generate 1,000 subscribers, you need to have 1,000 subscribers on your channel, and it took me about eight months to get 1,000 subscribers. And then I think within the last 28 days, I gained 750 subscribers, so that's that compound growth just working in your favor all the time. And then the second metric that you need is 4,000 watch hours, and that one takes a while to get. That one took longer than the thousand subscribers. But once you hit that threshold, you can join the um, Google ad program and then you'll be approved and then you can start earning money off of YouTube. So if we go to the revenue tab right here, we can see my estimated revenue again. And then right here, you can see the RPM. And this tells you how much money you earned per 1000 views. So right now I'm at 13 0.8 cents, but this isn't accurate because it's counting in this first day. So we need to wait maybe one or two more days to see exactly how much I was earning per 1000 views. Now being in the personal finance niche, I have a slight advantage. The personal finance niche is actually one of the highest grossing niches that you could join on YouTube because I think it's very um, targeted to advertisers. The advertisers can target exactly who they're trying to sell to and those people actually have money to buy their products or invest in their products. Say for a, a vlog channel on the other hand, that audience is not very targeted, but on a personal finance channel, you know maybe they're interested in credit cards or investment products or anything along that nature. So an advertiser can very easily go in and target that exact client that they want. So now let's look at the videos that actually generated me money. So this is very interesting as well. So right here we see my top five earning videos. So in the last year, I think I've posted around 95 videos and the majority of my growth has come from maybe five to 10 videos. So the principle, the 80-20 principle is in full force here, saying that you're gonna get about 80% of your results for basically anything from 20% of your inputs. So around 20% of your videos will give you 80% of those results. So for me, it's even smaller, maybe five to 10% of my videos gave me the most amount of growth. So my total, my most grossing video was this one right here and it's made me about $300 so far in the past month. Then this one made me $100, then 69, 35, and 22. And what's very interesting to note as well is video length is very important to ad revenue um, because you can maybe place two ads within one video or at least one uh, mid-roll ad and your video has to be longer than eight minutes to place a mid-roll ad. So that's why it's important to have a longer video format because you're gonna make more money off that video. And also YouTube likes to push longer video formats. So I hope that was interesting and inspiring to see how much a small YouTuber can actually make on YouTube in their first month being monetized. Now, if you're in a different niche, like we said, your ad revenue will be a little bit different. But if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I could not recommend it more. I think it was one of maybe the best decisions that I've made in my life for a creative outlet and then having the ability to control your own income just based on how much, how much work you put in and how much dedication that you put into building your YouTube channel, your income is completely within your control. So I I could not recommend it enough to you. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, definitely go do it. Don't worry about the gear. Just put out that first video and know that it's probably gonna be bad, but you're gonna get much better over time. Every single video is gonna be much better than the last. My name is Aaron, guys. I hope you liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video, but until then, peace.